In the early 1800s, free blacks were allowed to worship quietly in the balconies of Old Asbury Methodist Church. Desiring more of a voice among the congregation, a group of people joined the Reverend Peter Spencer in founding Ejon Church before founding the Union Church of Africans in 1813. Today, that church is Mother African Union Church on 9th and Franklin. We like to say that was the first completely independent African-American church in the United States. I believe it's the custom, or at least it was then, to have quarterly meetings. Uh, and so in 1814, so it was about a year after they founded the church, they had their quarterly meeting in August, thus it became August Quarterly. They would sell food and stuff after the meetings, the church, and, and they would have a, I guess a celebration we call it, outside in front of the church, that's where those pictures are from. And they would have street preaching and, and gospel groups. And so it became a festive you know, occasion. And these articles that we read in the 1930s, they're talking about the celebration stretch from the train station to the church, which was on 8th Street. So that's you know almost 10 blocks uh, of folks. They come with their uh, big hats. The, the ladies would come with their big hats, the men in their suits, and everybody was dressed. It's different from what it is now, but everybody looked nice, and you know, and you, we could eat our watermelons, we could eat our fried chicken and pies, and everybody, some people had tents, and um, just it was just a good gathering. It's more of a family gathering and fellowship, and it's still going strong, and, and I just thank God for that that the people can remember our heritage, remember our history, remember from where we come from, that we've come this far by faith, only leaning and trusting on the Lord. Well, I grew up in Wilmington. My earliest um, remembrances or, or memory of August Corley was when I was you know, six, seven years old. And I can remember on August Corley Sunday, the, the whole city would be kind of charged, for a six-year-old, kind of charged with a kind of electric kind of excitement, you know, because this is August Quarterly Sunday. This is the big quarterly festival. And, and um, so I kind of remember that. I remember the newspapers uh, on Monday morning would have pictures of people from uh, 14th and French all the way down uh, the street on French Street. You can go all the way back to when I was a young man, say in elementary school. We used to go to the August Quarterly. All we knew was Good times, good food, good singing. Our claim to fame is, is it's the longest continuous festival probably in the United States. It was held every year since 1814, except I think one or two years during the Civil War. 